Hotels.com takes the drama out of booking a trip. With free cancellation on most hotels, the only booking drama is bed drama. Like choosing between a room with two queen beds or a king bed for your trip with your new significant other. You've only been dating for three weeks. But you were dating in your head for months before that, so it's serious. Is that clingy? Oh, man. Maybe we aren't ready for a trip together. No? We are. Let's book this trip so you can propose. Booking a trip can feel dramatic, but with free cancellation, you can't go wrong with Hotels.com. Terms apply. See site for details. Dan and Ren and Jay will share Tales of folks so unaware They lack in grace and sometimes choose The life they choose will make the news Breaking down each epic fail In Florida there's half price fail I'm happy to say they Couldn't make this up dumb, 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 So listen dumb, to our podcast dumb, jam dumb, With co-host dumb, Arne and Dan dumb, 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 And Bert, don't be a jerk dumb, 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 Hey Townies, welcome to another episode of Dumb People Town. Town. Population you. Population Ooh, Glazer. Glazer. Nikki Glazer. Glazer. Yay. <laughs> Hello guys. Come on. So good to be here. So good to be here. Have we, have we gotten. It's been a long journey to, to, it to really here has. for us. I mean, I love it. Every time you come on, it's always so much fun. And you know, we love you so much. My question, has the world gotten dumber since the last time you were on here? Did we get dumber? Yeah, I, I, there's no way it hasn't. I mean, <laughs> people are learning on Zoom now. Like, yeah. that's how we're educating people. Right. And, and people still don't know how to use teacher, it. She just, she, my sister's a teacher at a high school. Mm-hmm. They just, uh, she told me yesterday, uh, finals are like each teacher like it's optional to give finals and like yeah. I just don't want to do it because the students like they can't deal with the stress of finals so they're like finals don't need to happen this year can you imagine being yeah. in high school yeah. you went, like I went to Kirkwood High School St. Mm-hmm. Louis High School mm-hmm. and finding out that finals have just been canceled like <laughs> that is the, well, I learned that's the best news I've I was I was giddy oh my god f- for just hearing that and I because I have that dream so many times of like I'm not ready for the final so right it's a yes. fresh stress in, in in my life so no you, you're not learning uh things anymore because you don't have to prepare for the, for the it, finals even though you didn't really learn when you're preparing for the right. finals you just like cram a bunch of knowledge that you no. dump immediately it's just yeah. friends we made along the way. it is that's the all. friends that's what high school was the friends we made along the way and then the after party right. for the, the after prom mm-hmm. um, and hoping that you dance <laughs> at a red roof inn, uh, which you're like, um, I'm sorry, I heard a thud next door. Did someone just kill a hooker? Right. Uh, hey, I hope you dance. Class oh, of '90. Man, rules. you guys had good after proms. Oh uh, god. We always used to say that in St. Louis: murder a hooker like no one's looking. <laughs> no, was that dance? I forget. <laughs> yeah. I can't remember what. It, no, but that is funny. If you don't have finals, to me, that's like the best snow day ever because snow days eventually have to get made up. I don't want to sidetrack us, but are, oh yeah, it, how screwed up are like college admissions going to be? So college admissions are because not. How, what are they? Because like they don't take they SATs. They don't even, they don't even take ACT. Well, right? ACTs was in Northern so. Illinois. That's what we did. A- no. ACT is now the thing. But like, oh I have really? A, I have a you have is- to prove that you might have been on a rowing team once. With <laughs> <laughs> picture evidence, with Lori Laughlin's daughter. Need to get yeah, into of course. You need <laughs> that's at least all you need one to get into college photo. Now. By the way, that's easy to prove. That's crazy. Yeah, so Lori Laughlin's daughter is the starting point guard for the USC men's basketball. <laughs> I cannot believe that. She's got good skills. Good for her. <laughs> um, well, I do think it's getting dumber. And Nikki, you know how this thing works. We Our awesome fans send us stories. And then the four of us just try and break it down. We mm-hmm. try and make sense of this big, dumb world. I feel like a big, dumb dam that just got broken <laughs> up. And so now all the stupidity All the dumb is up. just rushing so into the So let's get into a story right now, shall we, okay, Dan? You ready? Yes. Yeah. This was sent in by Catherine Tuck at Catherine Lorna. I love her. She's a stalwart. I love her. She sends in so many stories. Thank you. Here's the, here, I'll read you the headline. Cruise rescue boy swallowed up by sinkhole in Thompson, man. CBC, where would that be? CBC is Canada. Man, man would be what then? British Man- Columbia. Manitoba. Manitoba. Yeah. Canadian. Canadian. Okay. British Columbia. Good call. So they have sinkholes up in... Like, wait, Nikki, why weren't is, there sinkholes? A sinkhole? When, a sinkhole is like when the ground is really soft and then all of a sudden right. it just, just completely just right. drops okay, out. Yes. Yeah, it's like Midwestern there's quicksand. A, there's a video of a sinkhole like on so a bridge. The car. No, a bridge just dropping straight into a sinkhole while people are on it. And it's insane. Oh so, but, my God. Did the people die? They didn't die, but like a car went down. But it was and, the like, friends someone, they made along the it way. It was the friends they made yes. along. <laughs> Their finals were <laughs> Along the way down. <laughs> the, <laughs> wait, but why didn't this happen when we were kids? There should like, have been like right? eight sinkholes I in St. Charles. Because 
Our, we all grew up in a different time. Our parents would have let us play by the sinkhole. Hey, you can go right up to the edge of the sinkhole, oh, yeah. but th- don't th- go you in can it. Throw stuff in the sinkhole. <laughs> Nikki, I could see your parents who we've met, like who are super chill and also yes. feel like they could be like our brother and sister. Like they look, feel like our age. Uh, uh, yeah, they're just very being like, cool. Yeah, cool Nikki's going to play. Where's Nikki? And someone calls your landline. Where's Nikki? Oh, she's playing by the sinkhole. You guys yeah. are cool with that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> How's she going to learn? She, she they don't because take the SATs true, like- anymore. The, uh, we, we used to go in the creek system a lot. Like you, you took chances. <laughs> You'd go system. in like abandoned, um, yeah. you know, construction sites. Are yes. st- kids still doing that? Yeah. Or is that they They just have sinkholes now. It's like there it used a, to be. We have to make. We had to find our own sinkholes. And now right. there was an with episode, climate change. Yeah, yeah, the kids have everything given to them. They're yeah, so we had to. Lucky. We had to make our own damn sinkholes. <laughs> I love that you called it the creek system. <laughs> Is that like the oh my god! There is Saint such Louis? a creek system. Well, there's a creek system in our yep. uh, neighborhood. I lived in Harwood Hills. Yeah, and there were creeks that ran through the whole like suburbs. And oh, that was such a fun time to go back through there and just like you know Find just go creek it. <laughs> just go. Yeah, creaking. I don't even know what we were doing. Just look. There's and, and your then album, Nikki. Nikki Glazer, creek on creaking. <laughs> she. It's just you and the, I am working on one. That's it, a great that's a great, a great one. Great title, Gone it's Creek. It's just you and the Golden State Killer just it's gone and around in oh, the Oh yes, that's, that was the guy. He knew the creek systems too. That was one of the, the first, I think that was the first time I felt seen with as like my childhood creek it was You're when like, I, watched, I hate everything. You'll, I'll be gone in the dark. Right. You yes. bore every single thing this guy ever did. Except However, for he could, you do get I didn't his say that. love of creaking. Uh, no, no. Yeah, no, he what yeah, that was so creepy. I'm like I could have run know. into him. And and like totally. I'm very fascinated in like the, the, like just that kind of stuff. Like we all are serial killers sure. and like just creeps. Sure. But there's like me and my friends always used to go in the woods. Like Lowmeyer Sculpture Park, we would go through there yep. when we were young girls. And like th- there's like this there's this one Indiana like you know these two girls were went creaking kind of out yeah. at the woods and they recorded on Snapchat <gasps> the guy who ended up murdering them <gasps> and they're trying to find him but there's this creepy footage of it and it is so Mm-mm. it's in Indiana two girls were like it, it's so sad but don't I'm fascinated go to a creek. by it. but don't I, that could creaking. happen to me all any time there were sinkholes there was kidnappers everywhere like we were just running around mm-hmm. like uh, yeah there's do danger reme- everywhere do you guys remember in the 1970s when Elton John and Creaky D did Don't Go Creek no. in My Heart <laughs> Stop, stop. <laughs> Ask Sklar <Claire> Brothers. <laughs> Don't go creaking in my heart. All right, stop. <laughs> you guys want to see a picture of this kid? I yeah. do want to see okay. a picture yeah. of the kid who fell in the uh, sinkhole. I'm going to bring up the photo. His name is Samuel Desjardins. <laughs> oh. Samuel Samuel, Desjardins. Sam, Samuel of the Gardens. Of the yeah. Gardens. Desjardins. Oh, yeah. Desjardins or Dejardin. Mm-hmm. It could be. Damn, very okay. nice pronunciation. You ready? Look at this little boy. Oh. And he's stuck. Oh, my God. He's stuck. Creaking. Yep. <laughs> da, 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 da. Wait, that's him being stuck? He couldn't get out of that? He could not. Well, actually, he got out, and then they had He's him go back deep, in for the photo. Y'all. Get back in there. I got to <laughs> take this joke. picture. Wait. Is that really him stuck? Like yes. that doesn't that doesn't that's not alarming at all. No. I I mean, it's I guess you it's think dumb. you could get out of that, but I think you that's... Think. But Dan, but think. Dan's right. That's kind of fun. Dan's yeah, it does look kind of fun. Dan's right though. He got out, and then someone was like, "Oh shit, I was on Panorama." Go back in. Go back, back in. Right. Go back in. <laughs> I want to do it on portrait because I want to get your face. I want to get your face. So these have, the, like, they're not bottomless, obviously. We're not talking uh, mimosas. But they do, they like, it, they're extremely deep. And it's a, it's a it, they yeah. have a suction to them. So the more you move, the faster you're going to go it's down. It's quicksand. It's modern it's a, day yes. quicksand. Yes. 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 Sinkhole. Wait, quicksand's a whole different thing. Like, quicksand is thing. real, it's right? Like, yes, and I don't, like think, I don't think sand... Uh, I like it was modern day, like quicksand, like it, it, it's became obsolete. Right. I well, that and was so one was of the things we were terrified by... when we were kids. Quicksand, kidnappers, and Dobermans. <laughs> if you were a kid in the eighties, those <laughs> were your, those the were your top Doberman pick. pinchers. Oh, those were big yeah, in dude. the eighties. Magnum PI. Like, like what? What cultural phenomenon uh, inspired the fear of? Dobermans. Oh, that was, like, PI was big, and then a lot of like um, James Bond villainy yes, stuff, and also okay. uh, Chuck Norris had some. Yeah, anybody who was a villain always had Dobermans, and like in the middle of a speech to someone, they would just throw a stake on the floor, and you yeah. just see him go. Oh, after you're it. right, you're right. Okay, Even Mr. Burns, that, yes. his, when he would release the dogs, those, were, the Dobermans. House, those yes. were Dobermans. Oh yes, yeah. okay. Very good. All right, uh, Samuel Desjardins. 
Mm-hmm. He's on out. his way home from playing basketball with a friend on Saturday in Thompson uh-huh. when he took a step into a puddle and plunged into frigid, waist deep water. Oh my wow. God. As everyone oh, will be able that's to see. So scary. This is like a Don't Black Mirror episode. Social it's media. Just, <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah. Oh so you go in, but you also like learn something his about future, your future. Right. Fell, so it's like, it's oh a my, real, you may, your life may end here, but if it doesn't, you'll know something. You'll know who you're going to marry yeah. at age eight. <laughs> the puddle. <laughs> which the pair decided to wade through in their boots. So they first went in little step, step, fine. Kept going through. Keep going, man. It's only going to get better. So this is what I love. I love you, Canada. I thought he was like splashing from puddle, like jumping. And then all of a sudden yes. one was Boom. just this straight, is, straight this down. Is so a he me- knew this puddle this is a, was... Is this a metaphor for a bad relationship? Deep? Like take yes. one step in, you start sinking. You're Things like, let me just keep going. Keep going. Your feet are getting a little muddy. That's a red flag, but you just breathe right see. past I can those. get through this. I can get, we can yeah. get through and then this. you end up waist deep in a lot of shit. Yeah, a lot shit, of shit. And yeah. you can't get out. And you're stuck. And you're fucking stuck. 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 And you can get your friends to try to, to your friends want to get you out. Right. But the, it's, the it's going to take you. The harder they pull. You are, the harder they yeah. pull. <laughs> And much like Samuel Desjardins, people take pictures of you during this time in your life when you are stuck waist deep in the shit and you still smile, but you are in it just you're like he it. did. Oh, mm-hmm. you're in it. You're so um, in it. So, okay, so Samuel's this kid. Friend, well, so they walked stuck. through the puddle. They decided to wade their boots through uh, as a way to bypass the muddier sidewalk. So they thought going through a mud, mud field better, than, better the mud than the sidewalk, sidewalk yeah. in the city's riverside right. area turned out to be a sinkhole. Oh my God. Samuel's friend tried to help him out, but it was no use. He was starting to get sucked in too. the oh other friend. Oh my God. This is so scary. The boys were able to flag Dude. down a woman who ran to Samuel's house and told his parents what happened. Imagine that exchange. Oh my God. Hey, Deb. <laughs> Why are you out of breath? Deb has to run for the first time in 25 years. 25 years. <laughs> Everything's flying out of her purse because she doesn't have it nailed yes. down. Oh. It's all flying out. And she has to get there and then tell them like, Hey, remember your son? Yeah, yeah. of course we do. He is in. He's he is now in his waist hole. and shit. Oh, well, I know. <laughs> we, if he, he's already late. No, no, literally. No, late. he's in a sinkhole. You know yeah. what? How your relationship is? You, that's what she says. You know, that's the metaphor for your <laughs> yeah. relationship is what your son, son is, is now. now. Actually, I, I, you'll, you'll know it when you see it. You'll get what I'm meaning. <laughs> At least he'll be more. Um, new, yeah, he'll have new. He'll have new perspective on your on your marriage. marriage. Gordon <laughs> Samuel's mom, Julie. That'd be Julie Desjardins. Uh-huh. Uh huh. She said on Sunday, I had no idea what Deb really meant. You just, I put the Devin. You just kind of envision your kid stuck, like maybe up to his knee, if anything. So when she walked up, she had to be like, Wasting. no. Mm-mm. Yes. Oh, God. Mm-mm. Samuel's dad, Paul yeah. De- Desjardins, uh, said he didn't quite understand what he was looking at when he found his son in the sinkhole. How do you not, How understand, do you not understand that? Did we have a hard time do you understanding think your son's it? cut in half? Yeah. What do you not understand? I mean, I understand. I understand the confusion. What in like is he in a puddle that's like right. a giant hole? Is he yes. like is why is the water muddy and is it more viscous than just a watery puddle? Like right. I could be I that's could true. be I could see the confusion. But but, but, but his like, wife but his wife doesn't is really disappointed that he doesn't get it and is telling talking to other people <laughs> passive aggressively <laughs> about, about her husband. Well, he doesn't understand what's going on. I get it. But go ahead. Right. It. <laughs> One of his parents yes. knows what we need to do here. <laughs> also, imagine the dad being like, "Get out! Just get out! I don't understand. <laughs> Just get Just out! Crawl Dale, your ass it doesn't out. matter if you don't understand it. He can't get out. We'll talk about the logistics of it later. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I don't even understand any of this. What I'm looking at. <laughs> get out! It he, might help me get our son out if I understand. It doesn't matter. He can't get out. <laughs> Let me just Google it. Just, oh, uh, yeah. so and, then, and then suddenly the kid realizes. Yeah. Uh, this is why. I'm standing in mm-hmm. what my parents are in. Standing in my parents' And the parents are fighting. They're like, this is why we, know we don't go camping. And yep. he's like, well, no, no I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't go camping because you hate bugs. Right. I, I bought the timeshare and you don't want to use it. <laughs> when I got there, I thought it was kind of funny. I was wondering, like, how did you get in that deep? Paul said it was a definite change to the weekend. His dad, Paul, added this to the itinerary of stuff right. we're doing this weekend. Well, I guess I'm not going to mow yeah. the lawn at three like I thought. Yeah. <laughs> Paul wasn't able to pull his son out either. He called emergency services, which sent out two ambulances and a fire truck within five minutes. Wow. 
two look, ambulances. Look at this photo. I have it lined wait, up. Wait, wait, wait. Why two ambulances? Because they thought because his dad probably thought he was literally cut in half. I know. One for the top <laughs> half, one for the bottom half. I don't want him to have to see that bottom half <laughs> next to him. He's so all let's mangled. Get a separate vehicle. He's all mangled, his. Cheryl. He's mangled <laughs> under there. Julie. He's probably set in front of the kid. They're like, he's probably dead. He doesn't even know it yet. Once they pull Paul, him out of there. He's talking to us, Paul. Paul, he's taught he's alive. Okay, you ready Paul. to see what it looked like with the EMT people there? Yes. Here we go. Oh, Look at his friend God. laughing. Wow. His friend's cracking up. Also, doesn't this show you how narrow the hole must be? Because the, the firemen are standing in a place where they can actually just stand. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's true. They're, so they are within a couple feet of him and in up to their boots. Right. And Ankle, right. Ankles. And of course, by the way, there's like snow on the ground in Canada like there will be for like the next 12. <laughs> there is. Like it'll be snow. Yeah, you're getting that good Canada half like and through half the, where through like the some summertime. parts have melted. But I gotta say this. As a parent of kids, like don't go jumping in this shit. I mean, this looks like it could be dangerous. I mean, I guess it looks muddy, yeah. but he's an idiot for going in there. But where they are, look at, he had to get so unlucky. Look at everywhere he could have walked going up where the firemen are and I been know. fine. Dan, he jumped into this thing. He's he like, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Nikki, do you think he jumped in with both feet? I think. You think it was uh, Sandy Day No, I, I don't. I think it, it just was a step and then uh, it was like, oh my God. Because I think that is like a very, he just fell in the, um, what's the little, the, you know, kids used to always get caught in those. Uh, wells. Drain, wells. Like drain, wells. Oh, drains. Wells. Oh, drains and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this does he feel kind of like. like, like this feels like one of those, just a, oh God, you just happened to fall into that thing. So now- so I guess those kids crawled in them. This could be a great story for this kid's life. Like from here on out, <laughs> yes. it's a very much a look before you leap for the rest of his life. And he'll ever always be saying, hey man, watch out. Because one time when mm -hmm. I was a kid, yep. I took one step and I was in a sinkhole. I'm hiring this dude and for a cameo. It won't be funny until, uh, you know, later, but he's yeah. going to be very embarrassed. This uh -oh. is this kid's, uh, I don't know if, I, I hope he celebrates the fame that he gets from this, sure. but it's probably going to be really embarrassing for him. Yeah, they're going to But call later, like he'll Sinkhole benefit Sammy. from it. Sinkhole Sammy. And that Sammy. firefighter up front is real hot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That. I mean, you can't even like, tell. That that is no, a, on, I want to go. It's got, you got to go I, mask hot. Because He's, these days, I, I'm gonna go plop it around in some fucking puddles <laughs> later. That shows you up. Get rescued. You want to get rescued by yeah. these guys? Send the fire. I love that. Even <laughs> I'll even, make my own puddle. That's right. The shot. I'll make my own sinkhole. <laughs> even even I love that. Even in Canada, the firefighters are hot. Of course, everywhere. I mean that guy. Yeah, I mean that's crazy. But all right. Do you know um, that the Canadian well, for that. Canadian calendar is like 14 months? Just for all the firemen? Yes, because there's just so many, hot, so many hot firemen. <laughs> all they, add two months. they add two months. They add two months. By the time those crews that we just saw arrive, <laughs> Samuel... They're like book prices. <laughs> <laughs> just a little Samuel, bit more. Yeah. Had already been in the sinkhole for some time. He said he couldn't feel the bottom of the hole, just oh the God. pressure of his right leg being sucked down further. This is insane. Oh God. I know. This is, is going to be traumatizing for this kid. Yeah, Samuel, he's going to be... He's gonna be Scared. Here's what he but said. Thank God it wasn't deeper. This kid isn't that tall. Right. No. All I had to tell myself. What if it was a, a, a toddler? Right. Yeah. Oh, oh you'd be gone. Toddler is out. There's probably toddlers beneath him. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even set my I right foot on the shoulders of toddlers. <laughs> oh, uh, my God. <laughs> Samuel said, all I had to tell myself is that I was going to get out. It was going to be over because I knew that it Aww. would. I love this. Don't change that outlook on life. Good buddy. attitude. That is, that good. is a great Apply mantra that. for getting stuck in a sinkhole. I know. Dude, and his could, mom's like Paul, that. How old is this kid? I mean, his mom was like, that's <laughs> like what 12? I was saying the first time I had sex with your father. <laughs> Just close your eyes. You're going to you get out get of it. This, this is going to get over. <laughs> We're going to get out of this. <laughs> as soon as we get some EMTs to pull me out. <laughs> there was a bunch of people there helping me. I'll get and through this if one of those EMTs shows up. <laughs> Uh, said there are people uh, they are helping me and joking and I also helped keep myself calm instead of thinking about what was happening. That's cool. In a Facebook post, the Thompson Professional Firefighters Association opposed to the amateur mm -hmm. firefighters. No, they need to let people know. Said that Samuel kept his cool while crews worked to get him out. Many other kids have panicked. Instead, you maintained your calm attitude and sense of humor. Emergency <laughs> crews the emergency crews spent oh, 30 minutes trying to free Samuel, but even they 
started getting stuck in the mud. So wow. they bail. So these guys got oh, it. So they bail that's going to feel him. good for Samuel. Why yeah. don't you put like a okay, rope around his waist like, and just pull Okay, now he's like, he's been him. commended. Yeah, no. They were pulling hard to try and get him out, but he wasn't moving at all. That's when they called the city's vacuum truck, oh my. which was finally able to help him get out after being stunk, stuck in the sinkhole. They sous vide him. Wait, they and, vacuumed him? Yeah, yes. they vacuumed him, they sous vide him, and then they served him that night at a restaurant. <laughs> by, the t- <laughs> by the time the vacuum truck got there, Samuel was shivering uncontrollably. This is where it oh, started. Yeah. Like, oh. like, okay, all right. I was going to say, he just had a sh- little uh, you know, long sleeve t-shirt on, this I poor know. kid. It's freezing. How it's long Canada. in total do you guys think Samuel Desjardins was stuck in the sinkhole? What How do think, long Nikki? do you think? You know, he'd been in there. Two hours and 15 minutes. Wow. And then they get there. And, and I gave they, you a hint that they spent 30 minutes before they gave up on him. And then yeah. they had to get the goddamn vacuum truck. Like, that's got to come. She there. said two, two hours, hours and 15, 15 minutes. Jay, what you, that actually is a this, really by good the way, thing. should be a children's book. Yes. <laughs> Sammy in the sinkhole. Sammy, Sammy in the sinkhole. Okay. Oh, my God. I, I'm going to say four hours and 10 minutes. Okay. I would say the book should be called good night legs no. <laughs> <laughs> i what'd you say uh how many hours you four, said four ten and she said two fifteen two fifteen i'm gonna go three i'll go in the middle of you guys three okay. hours the amount of time that sammy spent in the sinkhole before they were able to get him out is approximately Two hours. There you go. Oh, Nikki wow. Glazer I, for the win. So impressive. I Dang. Know. First, thank you. Thank you. First story down the road. That was a fun one. That was a really good one. Hey, Nikki Glazer has a new podcast. We're going to talk about it on the mm-hmm. other side of this break. This is Dumb People Town. Don't go anywhere. Stick around. Make a sound. There's more Dumb People Town. Hey, Townies, if you're a business owner who's hiring, you probably face a lot of challenges when it comes to finding the right person for your role. Maybe applicants don't have the right experience or you have a tight turnaround and way too many resumes to sort through. Or maybe you just don't know where to post your job so you can reach the right people. Well, we are here to tell you that you got to go to ZipRecruiter. When you post a job on ZipRecruiter, it gets sent out to over 100 top job sites with one click. Then ZipRecruiter's matching technology finds people with the right skills and experience for your job and actively invites them to apply. In fact, ZipRecruiter is so effective that four out of five employers, it used to be four out of five dentists, mm-hmm. now it's four out of five, four out employers, of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within, ready for this, the first day. It's no wonder over 2.3 million businesses have come to Zip Recruiter for their hiring needs. So while other companies overwhelm you with way too many options, Zip Recruiter finds you what you're looking for. And right now, you can try Zip Recruiter for free at ziprecruiter.com slash DPT. That's ziprecruiter.com slash DPT to try Zip Recruiter. All you need is an internet connection. Zip Recruiter, the smartest way to hire. Townies. Mac Weldon is a premium men's essential brand that believes in smart designs and high quality fabrics. Oh, yes. Mac Weldon is offers a one stop shop for men's basics, socks, shirts, hoodies, underwear, polos and active shorts. Got them all. Whatever you need. Mac Weldon has you covered. Unlike the assortment of department store brands that make up your top drawer, all of their basics have a consistent fit that you can count on. Okay, so why is Mac Weldon so awesome? Well, first of all, they've been supporting this podcast since the beginning, <laughs> the and they beginning. are one stop shop Amazing. for men's Amazing essentials. Stuff. I have the their, pants, man. That's my jam. I will not fly without wearing Mac Weldon pants. The pants, the underwear, the sweatshirts, uh, the polos, the, the little aerated polos that we use when oh, we yeah. play golf. They're incredible, Jay. So good. Incredible. The shorts. I mean, Rand, you love their stuff. Yeah, you're not just going to look great in Mac Weldon. Their underwear, like you said, the socks, the shirts perform well, too. They offer a wide range of customized fabrics that can keep up with you no matter what your day looks like. So if you're working out, going out, or just hanging around, Mac Weldon is for everyday life. Plus, Mac Weldon wants you to be comfortable and wants you to like what you're wearing so if you don't like your first pair of underwear you can keep them and they will still send you a refund no questions asked for 20 percent off your first order visit macweldoncom slash dpt and enter the promo code dpt you do not want to miss out on these products go to macweldoncom slash dpt enter the promo code dpt for 20 percent off macweldoncom slash dpt promo code dpt Hey guys, welcome back to DPT. We got Nikki Glazer. She's a great follow on social media and definitely uh, 
we want you to check out our new podcast. Tell it, tell our fans about it so they can get into it. At like yeah, Real. it's daily, Monday through Thursday. It's me and my roommate slash best friend slash opener uh, nice. in our house, in our apartment, just mm-hmm. uh, every morning doing a radio show talking about our lives and the love topics it. of the day. And it's really fast paced. It's so fun. And yep, love it. It's just like it's just like feel good show and we just laugh a lot and it's like kind of like a daily morning show yep. in a podcast form and we, it's called the Nikki Glazer podcast and I you love can it. get it wherever you get podcasts. Well, you've done radio so you've like you know how to do the thing where I got to make it this time and I mean you're just well versed in doing that on a daily. That's a hard thing to pull off. The daily thing yeah. you got to say, okay, what areas? Oh, it- I wish it were more days. Yeah, I love. I I, I don't like. Pre- I don't really like preparing for like once a week. There's yeah. too much pressure on it. Yeah. I like. I like. Tre- it came about because I doing, like I, I like stand up. You just like do it, and then you don't have to like look at it again, and you can mm-hmm. just go in and do it. Like I approach stand up and radio the same way. Of like, I don't really prepare a lot, and I like to wing it, and it feels yep. good. It just, I just like. I, w- once the world shut down with COVID, I was like, I want to do have a creative outlet every day, yep. and I'm getting a little too old to do, like. I just kind of want to settle down, maybe a little bit, and not yes. just stand up every night of my goddamn life for the rest of my <laughs> life. A- like it's kind of a young person's game. Oh my god! So funny I'm just like, that. what uh, <laughs> do I want to? D- what could I do every day that's like a creative outlet? It's like, oh, like a morning radio thing, but that doesn't. That's not like really a world anymore so now i'm doing it on a, a podcast have you stumbled uh, have you yeah. stumbled on bits where you're like talking about something you're like ooh, there's something in this whatever you just start coming uh, and talking I, about and you're like oh, okay i know i'm talking about this there's definitely something here like a stand you know i lurking. wish i could say yes but no because i don't go back that's i'm really bad at going back and and listening to things that could right. be bits and i hope that people will remind me sometimes i'll say like okay this could be a bit someone remind me and someone then, like, remind will DM me, me. Yeah. yeah and then no one but like you. i do that on stage too where i'm like that that was a really good joke. I'm like, can you guys like tweet at me later? Just like read <laughs> these three words and I'll remember that. Yes. Dude, crowdsource it. Crowdsource that shit. I don't listen to shit. my recordings. You're like stuff. Elon so Musk. Like, yeah. You're like Elon Musk asking for bits from the audience. Um, oh, Kidding. You're not. Uh, since oh we God. had you on last time, I want to tell you that you and Mateo uh, crushed it on Stern. Yeah. Oh, thank yeah, you. That yeah, so that was funny. so fun. Oh my God, that was wow. um, so good. <clears throat> they, I just heard today, I like woke up to a tweet about... Uh, they were talking about me on Stern today, and it's like nice. it's so humiliating sometimes <laughs> because well, I love being like someone that they can just go, oh, Nikki Glazer did that, like friend of the show, and they've gotten so much out of me over the years that like mm-hmm. they reference stuff and they like got me to. T- of course, I was like talking about my sex life, and sure. I, I like he asked the right questions. I like didn't even he want does. to talk about this thing, <laughs> but I like admitted that. Uh, he thought I was like, oh, you slept with this guy? And I was like, no, I didn't sleep with him. He's like, what'd you do with it? I'm like, I don't want to like get into details. <laughs> yeah. and it comes out that I like gave someone, uh, you know, a, a, a beige. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I like was like, yeah, that's what I did. Okay. Okay. That's what I did. Mm-hmm. And then it became this thing of like, she blew this guy. He's yes. like a, a, a person with a name. And they were talking about this guy on the show this morning. This guy is now like since engaged, like oh. moved on with his life. <laughs> and I'm like this... And yeah. it just keeps getting brought up. They're like, oh, yeah, that's the guy. He's on this thing. And they're talking about him. They're like, oh, yeah, Nikki Glazer blew him. And then <laughs> oh, it's like, God. I get so, and then that's a thing that he has to read on his tweets. And it's just like, yep. God, Poor why guy. did I like. Poor guy. It's just, you just got to laugh. But it's I, like, I, yeah. I, Poor you. I love, I love being that uh, much of a, like a, a, a name on the show that they can just toss out there, but oh it is a God, thing that's yes. like haunting me. Well, forever. I mean, look, yeah, at, poor one, me. at, one point, sword. at one point he was on the tip of your tongue and now you're on the tip of their tongue. So that's, that's right. nice. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so there we go. Well, we should mention that we've got a live Dumb People Town coming up with the Doughboys podcast. Mm-hmm. It's going to be so much fun at Nowhere Comedy Club on September, tw- or September, May 22nd. Yep. It's a Saturday night, 6.30. You can get your tickets at danielvankirk.com mm-hmm. or nowherecomedyclub.com. Uh, so we got Chris Thiele from Nickel Creek is going to be playing music. And going he's so good. We're going creaking. We're going creaking. Nickel creaking. Oh, my God. He's amazing on the mandolin. And then uh, the Doughboys, which is one of my favorite podcasts. And we are going to do the fried chicken sandwich. Nickel Creek. Yeah, I know that band. They were, like, so big. I mean, I'm sure they're still big. But, like, sure. they were big in, like, t- I'm going to say, like, 2002. Yes. yes. Is that when we first heard about Nickel Creek? Yep. Yes. Because when you say it, it makes me think of Nickelback. And that's not. No, that's not that. Nickelback. But Nickel <laughs> Creek is, like, ding, ding. Like they're yeah, like they had like a mandolin <laughs> so hit totally. in like the early two thousands that we were all into in high school. Yeah. Fuck yeah! yeah. And, and Chris Thiele is like went on to become he he took over a Garrison Keillor show Prairie Home Companion and oh, they called yeah. it Oh my God Live from Here and so. they have 
comics on that show. We did. We've done it. It's that's like, how we got to know him, and so he's now going to do the show. He's funny and he's really good and like a great musician. Oh, that's so great! It's going to be awesome I'm again. Get, get your Nickel tickets Creek for that. Later. And we're going to do the fried chicken sandwich challenge, I where know. we try each of us, and it should be a blind taste test where you show what it is on sure. the other side, and then we will try the Popeyes because the Doughboys they they basically study. Uh, they are basically restaurant chains, professors, and they pro- break down poet laureates of of chain food. So we're going to try it and we're going to determine amongst the three of us is it Popeyes is it Chick-fil-A or Kentucky Fried? Yes. Okay, we're going to try we're going to try we're not even letting McDonald's uh-huh. into the equation. <laughs> no, McDonald's is not and we're not even touching noggles. Yeah, Sorry. that's a no. Wait, thing. you're not going to do a, a, a McDonald's crispy chicken? No, we're I mean, Maybe should we, we should. add it to the mix? I, I mean, I used to love them when I when I used to eat McDonald's and meat, but I yeah. thought they were delicious. So you I mean, wait, the tell me the ones again. It's, so so it's, it's yeah, I po- think, so Popeyes I and Chick Fil A. That is like a street fight. And then okay. you got to do Wendy's. Their Wendy's is the best. <laughs> so Wendy's good. Oh shit! So <laughs> Wendy's has like the pub pretzel. I can't okay. wait till it would we be, get it would be awesome camera. if you did a blind taste test of all of these and and determine what is really the best. I like. I wanted that so bad. Right. Yeah, so, you got to add so more. So that's gonna happen. So if you want to see that, you got to get your tickets for Live Down People Town. It's gonna be so much fun. And then Dana Van Kirk does a lot of wonderful events. If you go to danielvankirk.com, mm-hmm. you can play bingo with him. Raise some money for No Kill Animal Shelters, Big Brothers, game Big Sisters, Food Banks. It's fun. They're all fun. It's just a hang with DVK, so go and check that out. All right, so let's jump into story two, shall we? Ready? Okay, let's do Here it. Here we go. Yes. Mountain home man accused of stealing driving backhoe sent in by Robert <laughs> Liddy at That's RJ correct. Liddy. RJ Liddy, part of the Nixon administration. That's right, yeah. RJ Liddy. Who so this is the name of the town in Arkansas, I believe. Mountain yeah. home. That's the town? Yeah, so when they go, a mountain home man, it doesn't, he, he might he, live in a mountain he home. He might have a house near oh, a mountain. Oh, I was picturing him me in, too. in a mount. okay. okay. mountain. Okay, this threw me off. When I first a, saw the headline, I'm like, what Got an obscure. He's not, yeah, a mountain, he, not a mountain man, he's a mountain home. Where do you man. live? So what mountain did he home. steal? He stole a, a backhoe. backhoe. Like, you know how like you see What's one of those? Well, That's used, a girl who lets you have sex with her from behind. Right, well, okay. me a backhoe. Nikki's uh, like, I know a few backhoes. But you I mean. learn, yeah, you learn something new about yourself every day. Okay. <laughs> Last time I used a backhoe to dig a grave. Oh, really? Dan, Dan yeah. was a ditch digger. No, a grave, grave digger. Grave, okay. grave I mean, it digger. depends. You Dan okay. worked as a grave um, digger. Yeah, I, a okay. long time wow. ago. Wow. A long time ago. And you use a backhoe. It's, so it's, crazy. One, of those, okay, so it's one of those little, you know, it, it looks like... out a, the dirt. It scoops out the dirt. It's like an electron. It's like a crane type of thing. Oh, like a caterpillar thing? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Yes. And no, exactly no, it's that. a lot. It's crazy like how big, much. But you sit in oh, a sorry. little seat oh. and you like do it. Yes. Like yes. you yes. With levers and stuff. Okay. So you saw one of those. Yes. Got it. So there yeah. are those people who walk by and see one of those unmanned and say, oh, some people are having some work done. And then there's this guy who walks by and is like, I could probably take that. I literally thought you were going to go. There are people in this world who look at a backhoe and say, why? And there are other people in this world who look at a backhoe and say, why not? <laughs> <laughs> you were doing like a JFK. I really thought you were going down yeah. some sort of JFK. Ask not what your backhoe can, can do for you. <laughs> Ask what you, you can, can do, do with to the backhoe. backhoe. Yeah. Okay, a mountain home man. And, J- and JFK, man. by the way, would have said that. JFK had <laughs> JFK. lots of backhoes. Oh, yeah. So many backhoes. Yeah, he did have backhoes. Uh, also, if I told any of the three of you that there, that one of my favorite shows on HGTV was Mountain Home Man. Would you doubt me? For <laughs> I would one be second? like, so it's a guy no, who comes in. Not for all. He's so, an interior. He's fully bearded, wears flannel, but he's a gay interior designer. Mountain and he, Home Man. Mount, Mountain Home Man. man. And yeah, he, and it's been on for eight seasons. Oh, at least. <laughs> like it's like it's it's we're deep. In, this isn't like a new show. Yep, it's right, very beloved. Yep. I would not even. I would be like, I guess I just haven't heard of that. There's shows like that all the time all that the you're time. just like. And the his. Did, uh, that's in its eighth season. But like, here's like, season. But, <laughs> eighth season. But, but Nikki, here's the thing. Once you've heard about it, you will have seen it once. And then Everywhere. every time you're on the road in a hotel, that's the <laughs> that's only episode that's ever on. It's, that. only, it's always yes. this like love it or list it. I, forever, I'm always like, I've seen this. Mountain one. Home Man should have been that show <laughs> right. should have been called Truck It or Fuck It. That's number one. <laughs> yeah. And no, number two, his catchphrase is the Mountain Home Man done got us good. <laughs> That's what they say at the end instead yep. of moving the bus. Mountain done got us good. There you uh, go. I can't quit you, Mountain Like they're home, happy about it or they're like, 
they're like, oh, like because the revamp is like he done like it's a trick. There's like a prank, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, he puts one element. thing into your home that you didn't want. He puts yeah. one thing into and your home, and then they like they find like a raccoon, like a stuffed raccoon, like in the shower, right. and then they scream, oh, and then good. they go, oh, the mountain, mountain man, man. Done got us good. Hey, how come this toilet? This toilet spraying water up my asshole. He put Not a bidet day in. in the mountain man done got, got us good. good. A Mountain Hill man. We haven't even started. A Mountain Hill man is facing uh, felony okay. theft charge after reportedly driving a backhoe away from a work site. That checks out. An officer was okay. dispatched to West Second Street and South Hickory Street in Mountain Home in reference to someone oh. stealing a backhoe from a work site. How long do you wait before you call? Because at first you're like, is this guy working after hours? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think going? he's supposed to leave why the is, site. Why is that driving off and like right. workers are shrugging? And like work. once he pulls into a quick trip, you're like calling the cops. <laughs> that is not that, that is no way. He shouldn't be to, doing that. He's like right. picking up hitchhikers <laughs> right. on the street. Yeah, he's in traffic. An officer pulled into a parking lot near the work site after not initially finding the construction vehicle, but saw here's our hero Brent W. Oakley, a mountain home man. <laughs> oh, God, I know Oakley. And you know, that's all he wears that and no fear shirts <laughs> wrap driving, around sunglasses, driving the backhoe towards him, towards the cop. <laughs> oh. He's like, buddy, uh, uh-uh, no. <laughs> The man parked the backhoe next to the police officer and told the officer he did not have p- permission to be driving it, nor did it belong to him. Oh, I my hope that's, God. I hope that's how he started out. Like he pulls up to this comes up I two things. I do not have permission <laughs> to drive this and it does not belong to me. What else you want to know? Right. I'm going to head him off at the pass. I have dormant herpes and <laughs> right. I am also uh, I also have fear of commitment. Right. I'm out of a breva. <laughs> Uh, uh, according to the report a corporal arrived on the scene that's a big arkansas cop and told the officer to place oakley under arrest for theft which i hope means the first officer was like he already confessed did we even arrest him to what where's the investigation here oakley told officers he was drinking the officer asked him if he would complete a standardized field sobriety test while at the station and Oakley reportedly told him not to waste his time because he was drunk. Yes. <laughs> yes. You want to do a field yes. sobriety? Why would I waste your time? We're friends. You know me. Wait, have you ever had to do a field sobriety test, Nikki? No. no. Thank you God. don't. Don't do them. Just say uh, no. Say no. Just, but you're, you say no. You're yes. smart enough not to drive while even a little bit. Well, I don't drink anymore, but let's say right. I start again. You, you always say no. Don't do not do a breathalyzer. Don't field, field sobriety. Just say uh, I think. Okay. And then I'm too scared to tell cops no. You'll lose your license, but then you'll get it back, and then you won't have a DUI because you'll probably get out of it. Also, if a cop pulls up, just take the keys out of the ignition. Always. Always. If you fall, If you fall asleep in your car... I mean, keys aren't really every. I have, yeah, take, I, take I have a keys guy out of the ignition, school. then you're not driving it. You're he was 18. Okay. He had left a party, and he was, and he, he was like, I should not be driving. So he pulled over and went to sleep. Knock, knock, knock on the window. He got a DUI because his keys were in the ignition, which showed an intent to drive. Mm-hmm. If he had taken oh, his keys wow. out of the ignition, they he could have. He's just a guy. Could have been his campsite for the night. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Well, what do you guys good think? Lesson. Oakley's. <laughs> Brent W. B W O. What was his blood alcohol what content? What was his blood alcohol content? Okay. So oh, Nikki, that's, this is a great one. Okay. How drunk do you have to be to be like I'm legally gonna drunk? That. I'm going to take that back home. But then so drunk that you go, hey, officer, this is what happened here before you even got here. And then be so drunk to be like, let's not waste your time on me. I'm drunk. I am drunk. So legal limit is 0.08. 0.08. So knowing that. Okay. Where do you think he's at? I'm going to go 0.18. Okay, okay, that's good. That's 18. a good one. Yeah, Jay, what do you think? That's so right in the wheelhouse. I have I one, a number just popped to me, so go ahead, Jay. Point, I'm going to save in higher, 0.21. Mm. I'm going to say 0.25. Mm. 0.25. Mm. Okay. <sighs> that's, a, that's big. Oakley's blood alcohol level was, and then we will guess his age, 0.10. Zero. What? Whoa. That's not even that Whoa. Whoa. What is he coming down? I, I'm like, oh, buzzed. Please. I think he just wanted a friend. Yeah. I think, he, I think he just wanted a friend. He had just left a wow. cocktail party. What if the fetish for him was admitting things that he was about himself? <laughs> yeah, you know, like, that's that's what, he, what he was like. I want to get in trouble. Mm-hmm. I want to admit that I'm doing things wrong. I'll drive right I'm, up next to a cop. <laughs> right. Maybe we'll be friends. Remember when, you were, remember when you were kids at like your whatever pool you were at? 
And like, if you were at a pool where it was like adult swim and the people would be like, okay, kids get out. You got to get out. The adults, we got to, they got to do laps. Mm -hmm. And you just stayed in the pool oh, yeah. as long as you could until they kicked you out. Sure. There was yes. a little feeling of excitement in there. I don't want to call it sexual, but there was no, a yeah, feeling yeah, like, yeah. You, get a I rush. Be, you get a little rush. Yeah. Maybe that's what this yes. is. You just wanted the rush. You wanted the rush of Kick staying. me out of this pool. Well, what do, do we have motive? Like, was it just no. because he was drunk? Like, and he probably knew how to drive this thing. So he's like, oh, let me like see. I could take that. Uh, this reminds me of my, you know, those, yeah. that summer. Matt, this reminds I me of my tobacco. Wife. So he's like, let's see if I still got it. Yep. Yep. Let's see if I that still got it. That kind of thing. It. Was there nostalgia? Dude. I just, I, I want to know what he's going through right well, now. Brent, a... Brent W. Oakley is totally the type of guy who has on many occasions said, let's see if I still got it. <laughs> yeah. I hope his middle name is Went. <laughs> Brent Went Oakley. Brent Went Oakley. Brent Went Oakley. Here's a picture. You guys are going to get to see him, and then we're going to guess how old he is. Sometimes, by the way, this is that muddies it. It yes, makes it more difficult. It could throw you fun. off. All right, let's see what he looks like. Oh. oh. Okay. I love that the news article was like, we got to put bars behind his photo. Otherwise, yeah. how will people know that oh. he's the guy? Yeah. That's, it's like if, that's yeah, if Joe Rogan backdrop. wasn't in shape. Doesn't you know what I mean? Oh my it. god! Or if like so Mitch funny. Fattel went on like Jerry Lewis's prednisone. Ooh, a Mitch Fattel! <laughs> he looks I like heard every door guy in Florida. That, <laughs> the Mitch Fattel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got ID? He doesn't like move his mouth when you talk. You got ID? ID? He's like a friend who's not identified on like uh, Real Housewives of, of New Jersey. Right. Like, and he like, loves Huntington Beach. Right. He just shows up every once in a while. And, and like, Tito Ortiz. Yeah. So okay. So. How he is, he's about, he gets two monster energies at Seven Eleven every day for breakfast. Every day, yes. yeah. they put him on and, the counter when he walks and points in. at something in one of the the, the, the you know grills. And right. just, that's that's the guy in line with Wings. two monster energies. He's, he's the up. only guy who's ever. You, he's the only guy any of us know who has ordered who has eaten the wings, wings in Seven Eleven. Seven Eleven. How old? How old do you is think Brent he is? W Nikki? Oakley. I'm gonna say. Oh my God, this is so, it's this hard. is way harder than it should right. be, you know? I'm going to say he, he looks like shit, but so I'm going to say he's younger than mm -hmm. I think he is. Yeah, so good. I'm going to say he's 35. Wow. Whoa. Okay. 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 Jay, what do you think? I think he could be president. I yeah, he could. really could. He could. He's qualified. I swear to God, I don't know if this guy is 27 or 47. <laughs> like he could be either of those either. things. I'm going to say 27. I know that's crazy, okay. but oh, he just wow. so oh, yeah. I'm mm. going to now go in the opposite direction, both of you. I'm going to say 43. 43. Mm -hmm. Wow. We are all, all over, over the, the place. place. I We're can tell back. you this. One of you is only one year off. All right, okay. So you get so, to change. So you wow. get, yeah, everybody gets Let's to go, go one up, or, up or one down. Nikki, do you want to go one up or one down? I'm going 34. Okay. okay. I'm going up 28. I'm going 42. His Saturn is returning, by the way. I just <laughs> want you to know that. <laughs> All right. I can tell you that Brent W. Oakley, mm -hmm. to round out story number two, is, is 34 years oh, old. Oh, Nikki! Nikki! <laughs> Nikki. What? Well, so, yeah. You're crushing Way this, Nikki. Go, oh, Nikki. My God. Yeah. Yeah. You just walk in wow. and own it. Jeez. It. All right. Yeah. There you go. Story two down in the books. Dan, can you give us a little oh teaser of what we're going to hear in story three? It's a short one, but what is it? Uh, a man returns to his car okay. and has way more than he bargained for. Oh, Jesus. Uh, that's on the other side of the break. And then for Patreon fans, we're going to just talk to Nikki and uh, ask her a good little question that'll get her talking for that. Uh, this is Down People Town. We have one more segment, so stay with us. Stick around. Make a sound for more Down People Town. Hey, my friends, whether it's for work or play, a lot of us are going to be on the move again this summer. I am. If I can get to Wisconsin Dells or Ooh, Vegas. Mm, yeah, you will. Mm. Dude, I've never been to Branson. If you gave me the opportunity this summer, I'll go. Let's go. Let's do this show. So here's my advice. Take your Raycons with you wherever you're If you're, you're listening to your new summer jams, like I've been loving, my kids have turned me on to so much great music that I am just, people see me in the neighborhood and I look like a crazy person because <laughs> I got my Raycons in and I'm bopping around like a crazy person, but I don't care because I'm binging podcasts. Mm -hmm. I found like the new Nexium episode Ooh. is up and I'm all over it walking around my neighborhood with a new pair of Raycon wireless earbuds in my ears. They make all the difference you, in the world. That's right. You get a crisp, powerful beats at half the price of of other premium audio brands. And the best part, Raycons look great and feel even better. They come in a range of colors and with customizable gel tips that are included for a comfortable in-ear fit. And 
Raycons are built to go wherever you go with the quick and seamless Bluetooth pairing that I love so much and a compact charging case so, that I also love. What did I just say to you, Dan? Mm-hmm. I just did an hour and a half long hike. Mm-hmm. I have my Raycons in. Mm-hmm. I'm list- I listen to two podcasts, two Michigan football podcasts. There you go. I listen mm-hmm. to po- comedy podcasts. The last 40 minutes of my hike, I am blasting music because that's the hardest part of my yeah. hike. And I'm rocking out. My son got me into Roddy Rich ballin'. That is my song. <laughs> that gets me up a hill. And when I'm listening to that but the song. The great thing is, is that the 24 hour battery life, they're going to still be ready to go when you pick them up tomorrow. That's right. You I'll don't have to worry them. about it. Them. And guys, Raycon is offering 15% off all their products for our listeners. That is all of their products for our listeners. And here's what you got to do to get it. You got to go to buyraycon.com slash DPT. There you will get 15% off your entire Raycon order. 15% off. That's awesome. And it's such a good deal. You will want to grab a pair and a spare. That's 15% off at buyraycon.com slash DPT. Buyraycon.com slash DPT. Hey, guys. What are we going to do? We're going to let the secret out here. Let's do it. Yes. Nuts.com. It is, it's the best kept secret of savvy snackers across the country. Let's open it up to everybody. Shall you? I love nuts.com so much. I've ordered the ma- the dried mangoes are so good. The dried strawberries are so good. The sesame sticks are so good. I'm so <laughs> happy that they are dumb people town sponsors. That's right. Nuts.com is a family run business that takes pride in getting you the freshest products available. Rand was just telling you ones that he loved. You say you love that mango. Mango too, dude. That dry mango, mango. The dry mango is so, that we were mm. talking to the guy who who runs the company. He's like, you know what we do with the dried mango that we don't think is good enough for us? We send it over to Whole Foods. We give it to Whole Foods. <laughs> that, I mean, Whole Foods. Hey. They get the runoff. They get the runoff. This guy, I'm telling you, my kids love it. It is a healthy snack. They are delicious. I'm eating it all the time. I'm ordering over and over again. They're like, we run out of the stuff. We're like, we got to get up on nuts.com. And then they get it out quickly. They're amazing. They have, the again, for your kids to be snacking on healthy foods, and they're mm-hmm. around it with our kids at home on Zoom school. You just don't want them eating junk all the time. This stuff is so good for them, which is why I like it yeah. so much. But Nuts.com isn't just for snack lovers. It's also your one-stop online pantry shop. You can get fine baking items there, items for smoothies, rolled oats, beans, and more with gluten-free and vegan options, too. With more than 4,000 products to choose from, this is the simple and convenient way to have nutritious, delicious healthy nuts, dried fruit, flowers, grains, and so many other high quality foods delivered straight to your door. And delivery is fast. Most orders ship the same day, guys. That's right. Nuts.com customers get free shipping on your first order when you text DPT to 64,000. And remember, you end up supporting our show when you support our sponsors. So text DPT to 64,000 and get free shipping on your first order from nuts.com. That's DPT to 64,000 terms apply available at nuts.com slash terms. Oh, townies, it's Ooh. that time again for We're us to give it. shout outs to our Patreons, mm-hmm. uh, our Patreon fans. Uh, we, we can't tell you how much we appreciate your support. And one way we get to share it with you is on the show. We yes. call you out and we do something special mm-hmm. with your name. Dan, let's get into it. Kristen. Kim. Kristen Kim is a townie. Thank you, Kristen. Yes. K-K. Kristen, K-K. you know K-K. that we love you being I hope out there's there. not another K in there. K-K. She's great. Thank she comes you. to a lot of uh, Hub City shows. Yes. Love it. And I've accidentally called her Kim more times than I care to mention. Kim All right, guess Kristen. who else we got? True Local. Daniel D. Daniel D. Daniel D. Daniel D. The double D. Double, double D. D. The place to be. Double D is the place to be. Now, is this Silver Surfer, a.k.a. Cosmic Drifter? Because it says Cosmic Drifter, which would mm-hmm. be the Silver Surfer. Correct. So I can't tell which one is his playa name, folks. Guys, I've been to Bear, I've been to Burning Man. <laughs> oh, to Burning man. RIP, so by crazy. the way, no Burning Man this year, Ran. No, no Burning no, Man. Dude. So, Dan, that means next year I'll get to maybe go with you for your first time. There maybe you go. Maybe Silver Surfer, or co- this cosmic, <laughs> cosmic gentleman Drifter? will be there, too. Yeah. When you're 50, Ran, you're going to go? All right, let's go. Uh, ready for this one? Yes. I've already read it in my head, and I've decided it sounds like a song by Carly Simon. Andy Kane. You probably think this shout-out's about you. you. And Andy D-K. Oh, all right. Next up, we have a true local, Eric Broughton. Eric Broughton. Broughton. Eric Broughton. Why don't you bring it? It's already been brought. Hi, Hi, I'm Eric Broughton, and I own this meat packing plant behind me. If you're interested in quality meats at a reasonable price, then that's me, because I'm the working man who cares about the working man. Eric Broughton <laughs> for Stop local shouting. sheriff. I'm Eric Broughton. But, do I have police experience? No, but do I care about people? You bet. That's why I'm running for sheriff. All right. 
I don't know who that guy is. <laughs> we have a founding mother slash father, a founding parent, uh, Chris Slattery. Christy. Uh, uh, Christy Slattery. Slattery. That's uh, right. Christy Slattery. I hope. Uh, isn't that the, from Mad Men? Yes. Mad Men. Mad yes. Men, yeah. yeah. Uh, next up, we got Mike Hudson. Townie. Mm-hmm. Hudson. Man, the Aaron. Hudda Man. Aaron Goreham. Goreham. Mm-hmm. Gore- that sounds like Gore-ham a furniture hats. store. Yes. Goreham hats. Goreham yeah, hats. Too, right. too. Uh, Ian Porter Phillips. You skipped one. I know, but I'll come back to it. I want to commit. Ian Porter Phillips. His name is Ian, Ian Porter Phillips. Well, and his there's name a- is Ian Porter. <laughs> and there's a million things he cannot fill up. All right, let's go back. Holly Chapman. Holly Chapman is a pillar of the and community. And been around for a long time. Holly is a Holly, solid person. Thank you. Appreciate we appreciate you, Holly, you so Holly, much. Holly, Holly, uh, next yeah. up, Big. Holly, 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 get your Chapman here. Now, here's the thing. Is it Big, Big Spoon or Big, Big Spoon? I think it's Big, Big, big Spoon. I'm going Spoon. Big, Big Spoon. Uh, True local. Thank uh-huh. you. And then True I, local. Uh, Wanda's cousin, Ann Sykes. Ann Sykes. Ann Sykes. I'm psyched about that. I'm psyched about her being here. Ann Sykes is here. We're I'm going to read this next name, and then I'm going to ask you guys a question. Mark Wilson, sure. what is his golf handicap? He's a seven. He's he hits an eight. a high he's seven. An eight. Really? He's an eight, but he says he's a three. Yeah. <laughs> Mark Wilson. I can I hit 72. Like I got he. He's a, he's a seven handicap at golf, but he will very quickly tell you about that time when he shot like one under par at Pebble Beach. He likes to tell everyone that he's played that he's recently played Spyglass. Uh-huh. Fair enough. Oh, great. Fair enough. Uh, next up, we have a townie by the name of Gabe S. Mark Wilson's a true local, by the way. Thanks, buddy. Okay. Gabe, Gabe S. S. And then we Gabe have a S. city council member, Kimberly Treadwell. Treadwell. Oh, I know. You don't tread Kimberly lightly. You shows. tread well. All right, you ready? Treadwelly. Deirdre? Moler- Mullervy. You going Mullervy or Mullervy? Mullervy. Muller Muller V. Muller V is the, the Muller V report. I read. Did you read the Muller no, V report? It was, it was very, it was very thorough. A little too dry for no, me. Very thorough. I love it. All right. The next one, we have a townie by the name of Mary Lenahan. Mary Lenahan will always Mary greet Lenahan. you with a shot at the bar. <laughs> Thanks, Mary Lenahan. Thanks, Mary shot Lenahan. Shot at the bar and a pat on the back. All right. This next name, might as well just say from Wisconsin. Susan Helsdingen. Helsdingen. <laughs> Helsdingen. Right? Helsdingen. I don't know. Helsdingen uh, sounds like the best summer beer you've never had. No, yeah. you know what it is? Helsdingen June. No, wait, I can get it. <laughs> Helsdingen <laughs> Jewelers for now and forever. <laughs> okay. Helsdinger Jewelers. It's the thing of moments. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. Uh, oh, <laughs> it's the place for moments. Hey, uh, Adrian Duddle. Sounds like a substitute Adrian. teacher to me, and I do not My know name why. is Adrian, Adrian Duddle. I will not hesitate to send you to the principal's right. office. <laughs> right. Nope. You guys promised you were supposed to eat candy every day here in class? <laughs> uh-huh. Yes, Miss Duddle. Uh, Brianna Bailey. Brianna Bailey. Brianna 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 just Bailey. got back from the war. Brianna Bailey. Brie Bailey. Come on. Brie, Brie Bailey. Bailey. Is your, Brie Bailey is a good time. How do you know She's when fun. it's Brianna or She's Brianna? Brie. I think it's just Brie Bailey. Uh, Brian, Brenna. No? Brenna. Okay. Right, Brenna? Uh, Brenna. Next up, we have a true local by the name of Mary. Thank you, Mary. Mary did you Mary. know? Mary. you. And then we have Sydney B. Sydney B in the townie and the place to be. Sydney, Sydney B. B. Sounds like the, the friend of the main character in a Disney show. Yeah. Yeah. Sydney, Sydney B. B. Sydney B will help you find Nemo. Jorge? That's it. S. Yanero. My name Yanero. is. My name That's is a form Jorge. of currency in some places. My name is Jorge Yanero. No. <laughs> I'm walking down the street. Genero. Yeah. I love you. My name is Jorge Yes Genero. That was pretty good, you right? Ki- you kill my father, prepare to die. Okay, yeah. we're going to get out on this and what better? Pillar of the community. Franziska uh, Peterson. Peterson. Pillar of the community. Uh, what does the love, Z mean? Love, is that love. that's Eastern European if there's a Z in there? Yeah. Franziska, Franziska Peterson? I think, I, think I think Franziska has been to many a show yes. and has been Oh, and great. hung out before and, and after hung hand. out in the after hang. Oh, and that's she's right. So great. Yes, the two so of them. They sweet. hang out with yeah. us afterwards. They're her husband who I, I love, love these those guys. Two. So her husband much. who's recovering from I want to say a stroke, and so we're familiar with yes. that from what our mom See, is dealing with. And he always when a shout asks, out come, turns into a love out. He always asks a really sweet, really cool they question. Gives us crap about our sports uh, <laughs> alignments and. Uh, I think he's a Nebraska fan. Is yes, that right to yes, say? Yes, yes. yes. Right. She's a professor. She's, She's a, a professor. professor. There you go. Yeah. Franziska. I hope this is her. Uh, pillar of the community. Thank you. Thank you. Thank That's you. awesome. That's some shout outs, friends. Let's get back to the show. All right, Dan, take us home on this last story. Here we go. Ready? Yep. Man returns from shopping trip 
mm-hmm. to find bees in his car. This was sent in by Jake Dan, Groney. And we know this one. We've yeah, done Jake it. Jake Groney. You guys did this story We did this already? story, but okay. it is pretty amazing. So let's All right. talk okay. about it. This guy, a man who went shopping in New Mexico, returned to his car to find honeybees had apparently got through the open window while he spent time buying groceries. Don't leave, leave your, your windows car, open. Who's leaving their windows down at, at a grocery well, store? Well, he probably had a, a toddler in the back seat when the crack the window. <laughs> a, crack toddler window. And a, a toddler and a little puppy. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So good for him for cracking the window. Astonishingly, yeah. the man who was not named in the New York Times report detailing his unexpected travel companions did not notice the sudden presence of a giant swarm of buzzing insects in his vehicle as he was driving away. So you, how do you get in? Where did you put your groceries? Where where do you, how? Okay, I'm going to show you a picture. Nikki, you can see this. This gentleman, is Kurt Braunohler's bit. Have. This is Kurt, Kurt Braunohler's bit. Remember Kurt Braunohler's bit about, he's like, I will not have a political discussion with people. I just won't because, and then he goes into this whole story about a woman who had uh, 80,000 bees in her walls <laughs> and she didn't <laughs> notice it or didn't care about it. It's like, if people can't realize when there are 80,000 bees in their house, then you can't talk politics uh, with people. It's such a great thing. Look at this. so good. Look so at good. this car. First of all, he has more problems than just the bees. Oh, Jesus. my God. Yeah, is that an Oldsmobile 98? It's a Buick. Okay. I, I see what's going Oldsmobile. on here. This is when they do this thing where they'll, the queen will, the scent will you get on it, and they all you are kind of swarm and do these super yes. swarms. And oh I could see God. why he wouldn't have known because I don't think they're so concentrated. They're not like flying everywhere. But, but also look at, look at the like, detailing of his car. I, he's denying a lot of things going yeah, he's on. He's not paying attention to his car I'm at all. Like, I'm just going to wait for that, I'm going to wait for a few more birds to shit on this and then I'll watch it. <laughs> <laughs> it's bur- that is it's so disgusting. It's that, been bukkakeed on. All <laughs> Like Every money shot in the neighborhood. It's been money shotted to hell. All the oh birds. Yeah. All the birds had a turn. Look with at her. how many. That is like. Yeah. And again, this is where you like. I a, love when they do this. This is things. like. a. So, you know, you look at this sort of gathering of bees, and there's so many bees that are well, in this. Well, I was going to ask you guys. Do you remember the I total? Do remember how many do you remember bees? The total, I, don't, Jason? I don't. I do remember I don't. the total. Well, this so is I'm like guessing Jason, jelly beans. And Jason's this is like going on his honor system. How many bees? Do you think he had in his car? Now, mind you, he drove away with these beads in the car for a while without noticing. And he went through the carpool lane, which I thought that was actually smart that he could go through. <laughs> if I see one I'm bee, I'm say... like, whatever. I see four bees. I'm like, what is going on around here? How many bees could have been swarming around him as he drove away? That this he is did literally not... like those 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 jars of jelly beans. Like yes. I'm trying to do the math what on it, think? and I'm trying to get a sense of the the mass of this uh, mm-hmm. thing because it's not just like a that's not a flat window. They're all like grouped as a bunch. Yeah, it's like a. I'm bowl gonna of say. Twenty four hundred. Twenty four hundred. Okay, Jason. I'm going to say 3,000. 3,000. His car was filled with 15,000 honeybees. Oh, my God. Oh my so now, God. Who ca- so then, okay, now my thing is like, who counted that? Like, are you going to trust some guy? Like, did some guy be like, all right, I, well, bet once, I bet once they put them in a box, you kind of have an idea when you take care of them of how many are there, in maybe there. Maybe there's like a line that's like 15,000. Right. Right. There's like 20,000. If you filled them, that would be hilarious if it. it was exactly 15,000. There's too. no way. Like, they would have get even. Yeah. They weigh the Does box when it's empty and then they weigh the thing with the bees in it. Oh my <laughs> God. Giant swarm of insects in the backseat while I he's driving away. I love that. I hope they didn't kill the bees. No. What they do with the bees? Then we he turned back them. and looked and he was like, holy cow, said Jesse Johnson, an off-duty <laughs> firefighter and said. paramedic whose hobby is beekeeping. That's what he said of the man's reaction. <laughs> he called 911 because he didn't know what to do. Johnson and his fellow firefighters, this is the people who helped, mm-hmm. helped the man remove the bees and put them in an empty hive box. Wow. He said the bees were likely swarming, Nikki called it, with a queen and looking for a new home, which makes them more docile and easier to handle as oh. they are not defending their turf. Wow. The whole incident passed <sighs> largely without injury, but not entirely. One guy got stung on the lip and he won't shut up about it. I'm joking. <laughs> exactly. I'm joking. Right. Okay. It, says, it says one guy got stung on the lip and we made fun of him the next morning. Sure. Jesse Johnson told oh my God. the Times. That is, wait, wait. So so the, the cop was a beekeeper also. Yeah, right? the fireman. The, the fire, fireman. Here's so, what's crazy also, wow. Nikki. The time from him going in to shop to come back out and 15,000 yeah. bees. Do you want to guess? Yeah, let's guess the time. Do you want to guess? Oh, um, How much time was he in the uh, shop? Uh, a s- 11 minutes. 27 minutes. He was in there for 10 minutes. Oh, my God. 10 minutes going you know. zero wow. to bees. Zero to 15,000 so cool bees. 
Although oh he's so dumb, nuts. they might have been in there the whole way to the grocery store. Yeah. <laughs> this could have happened <laughs> at his house. When those bees started swarming. The yeah. bees are like, we've been here three days, man. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. This guy is like, so funny. Again, this is I a guy. love the TikTok videos where people are just like, putting their hand in those swarms and just like transferring it's bees very calming. gently and not getting stung. It's so calming. Yeah. Those swarms of bees, there's something like so gross because they're all swarming, but there's something just like there. It's there's something beautiful about mm-hmm. it, even on that disgusting car. It's like also the beard uh, of bees reminds me of the Peter Gabriel sledgehammer. It's like it was that the weird animation where it's just kind of yeah, moving yeah, and it's yeah. like, yes, it's like yeah. Dr. Yes. Cats. It's like squiggle vision. And it's like, like, get a squid. Yeah. Yeah. The, like, like oh, that's so true. Yeah. But that's also the, beekeeping, like, you keep the bees like you keep you them. Keep, keep, keep care of them. Yeah, it's yeah, but it feels like they like should come up keeper? with a bet. Like they should be like bee care. They should be like bee sitter. Bee sitters. Bee sitters. A bee tender is a bartender at Applebee's. Okay. That's right. That is a bee tender. I love it. Perfect. Oh, that's there you go. Story, that's the, oh my god! What a great episode. It always is a great episode with Agreed. our friend Nikki Glazer. Everybody, go so check out her, her daily podcast, the Nikki Glazer podcast. Uh, love you, girl. Thank you so much, and Thanks I for doing look it. forward to hanging out when we can all just goof on each other and be in the same. I room. know so so soon. Let's do Please. it. Please, it's, it's, it's nigh. It. I love it. Thanks, guys. Oh shit, we gotta get back to work. Stick around, make a sound, hunker down, these dumb people town. Star Bands Audio, a podcast, <clears throat> a podcast network.